Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. It is around 3 a.m. It's actually 3.14 in the morning. Last night, I fell asleep at 6.30. Um, I wasn't uh, actually feeling that hot, and I was like, I'm just gonna lay down for a minute, and I completely passed out. So, like I said, 3.15 in the morning. I have a super busy week at work this week. Um, so, everyone is sleeping upstairs. Also should let you know that we have a guest. If you look over on the couch, there's a Mr. Casey over there sleeping. My in-laws are gonna be on a cruise till after Christmas. So of course we volunteered to take their dog. I went ahead and just turned on the garlands and then just the twinkling lights in the tree, not the main lights, just the little twinkles. I don't even know if you can see them. But there are little lights on, but just all the garlands are on. I'm going to get myself some water and then take my vitamins and ease into the day. I actually have an extra hour because normally I wouldn't wake up till four. I will see you all in a little bit. While I am awake, I thought I would just go ahead and open advent calendars. Pull up some sugar on me. In the name of love. We have apple frogs. Natural apple gummies atop vanilla apple foam. Day 16. It is British Rose Instant Body Butter. Our fun feminist fact is the body shop founder, Damonita Roddick, took on the entire cosmetic industry for her campaigning to ban animal testing. She received a damehood in 2003 for services to the environment and charity. All right, day 16 is a biggie. And I really like those. They are shark puffy stickers, and I really do love them. Day 16. Now, see, it is a beautiful rose gold metal roller. That's beautiful. I'd even use it as a bookmark. That's beautiful. It's crazy to think that we are on the last box of the pins. It's like a little star of Bethlehem. I love it. Nativity scene. Day 16. We got another tree. So this is where we're at. Also, I don't know why yesterday I moved this camel in here. We're going to move him out. I do know that they took a donkey. I know that. But see the scale of Mary and Joseph because they take up so much real estate. And also this camel has to stay here because he won't stand on his own. We'll put the tree here. So this is where we're at right now. There are a lot of animals and not that many people. So hopefully the last couple days we get some more people. Day 16. It's right here. We got the candle centel. Advent calendars are open. Got some really fun stuff today. I want to take all these gifts to work today. So let me grab those. If you guys are looking for gift tags, an Etsy shop owner and a subscriber sent me um, some information regarding her Etsy shop. Her name is Julie Campbell and she does like cards and gift tags. I just gotta show you. Like look at the card. This is the one she actually sent me. She wrote me the most beautiful, kindest letter. But look how cute this card is. Then she also sent me this one. I cannot wait to give this away. But look at her gift tags. Aren't those stunning? 
Her shop is called Sweet Julie Marie. I'm going to link it down below. Please go and support her. If you are looking for really cute gift tags, oh my gosh. And the cards are so ridiculously cute. I almost don't even want to give this one away. I actually want to use the cover for something. I mean, go check her out. Julie Chapman. Her store is called Sweet Julie Marie. It's linked down below. Go check it out. We got a cab from California. Dark fruit flavors of plum, black cherry, and spice. This wine is perfect for the representation of classic California cab. All right. We clearly will not be partaking in this this morning. It is 20 degrees outside, it is 6 a.m. and I am heading off to work. I have my Yeti mug that was in my holiday gift guide. Um, I think it's such a great gift. Um, and we're gonna go get this Monday started. Good evening, my friends. It is going on five o'clock and I am just leaving work and I am heading to a little privately owned floral decor gifty shop boutique called Wisteria. And the reason I'm headed there is because I really was debating on putting up a third Christmas tree, the one I've always put up in our breakfast nook. And it's so close to Christmas and the money I would invest in it just doesn't seem worth it. So instead, I'm going to invest that money in getting some really beautiful holiday floral arrangements um, designed that match our decor and I'm gonna go see what they have, what they can do, all the things. So that's where we're headed. They're open till six. I need to get there soon. And then I'm gonna head home, check on the dogs. Uh, don't know what we're gonna do for dinner. I actually think Steven might have something planned, but that's gonna be pretty much our evening. I feel super energetic considering I've been up since, well, I started vlogging at three, but technically I was up at around 2.30, but that's what happens when you fall asleep at six-ish. So that's the plan. We're gonna get there safely to Asteria, look at all the things. Hopefully they can help me out. I know it's so last minute, but I'm hoping they can help us. For Motivational Monday, it will actually tie into tomorrow because tomorrow we're gonna look at some planners. But my motivation for you is I cannot stand, and a pet peeve of mine is like, there's just not enough hours in the day, da 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 da. There actually are enough hours in the day, and it's all about how you use the hours in which you have. I find getting up a little bit earlier, now granted, 3 a.m. is a little severe, but getting up an hour earlier and planning out your day is really the best thing you can possibly do. And I will tell you, you will be shocked once you start planning minute by minute what you can actually fit in a day. I think one thing that's really helped me is I think people write things in their planners often, but they don't actually account for the amount of time it will take. So one thing that I often do, when it's a newer task, something I don't do, I actually time myself start to finish on that task to see how long it actually takes me to complete it. So for an example, I know going through and answering work emails on Sunday, I need a good hour and 20 minutes to an hour and a half. So in my planner on Sunday, I actually designate that the right amount of time. Because what people do when they don't know how long something actually takes, they either give it way too much time, and then when they complete that task, end up wasting the extra time they got back, or they don't give it enough time, so it takes so much longer than originally planned, leading them to getting less done. So time your tasks. Once you know how long they truly take, then use them to plug into your planner and designate everything a time. Everything I do is given a time, whether it's I wanna read at night, take a bath, 
every little thing, I give it the amount of time that it needs and I can always figure it out. So that is your motivation for this week, is to quit saying there's not enough hours and start really thinking about how you're utilizing your time and how much time things take you to complete. Tomorrow we're going to be looking at a set of planners. I was hoping that two other planners were gonna get delivered. They might be there when we get home, but if they're not, we're gonna deep dive into those momentous planners that I was sent because I'm really, really excited about them. And they seem really great. So we're gonna be diving into those for Try It Tuesday because I definitely wanted to give us a glimpse of some new 2020 planners are out there. You guys know my standby planners that I love. The Start Planner, the My Infinite Agenda, and Kit Life Planners are probably my top three favorites. I'm excited to check out a new planner. But with that, let's get to Wisteria. Let's see if we can figure out this holiday floral arrangement situation, and then let's get home to Steven and the Dogs. Wisteria right now. I worked with the most lovely individuals. There are two young women. They were absolutely fantastic. Um, what I ended up doing was picking all the picks and all the containers for the florals. So I picked all of that stuff already and paid for it. That way my remaining balance is all in product and flowers. So what I've decided to do was go with a lot of pine and hydrangeas. Um, I'm picking them up on Friday. So that is the game plan. I did two small containers for nightstands. I did one large um, vessel for uh, the living room and then one for the centerpiece of the kitchen table and a lot of the picks and all that I'll be able to reuse each year um, we're sticking with lots of greens white hydrangeas red like frosted berries and what was the other thing red frosted berries oh we picked another pick <laughs> we picked another pick um, and I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I paid for all of that stuff. Um, and now the rest is just all about the product and what they end up creating, which I am super, super excited about. We are home with the doggies. We got one doggie. We got two doggy. Why don't you open Michael's tea while you're at it? You mean Chad's tea? Tim's tea. Uh, my, uh... Zachary's tea. <laughs> Just the 16th. All right. Oh, goodness gracious. Don't let there be a coupon for a whole conversation. There is not. But it's s'mores chai. Oh, that's a good one. You would like this one. Uh, is there caffeine in it? Medium caffeine. Here. I know you like to spill the tea. I know you're excited about the tea. You know what else you'd be, what you'd be excited about? My advent calendar, so get it! Yeah. Casey doesn't get one. Although we could give him the another day. 
Give him the 15th. We can give him the 15th. Bubby, get up here. Oh, <gasps> Aww. This is a new one. Those are so cute. Here you go. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What was Casey getting? So Casey. I also don't think we opened the third. So then we just have the 14th too. I did give him these, yeah. It's the 14th. Oh, the 14th is there. Okay. Yeah. Casey. Bubby, it's so good, it's so good, it's so good. All right. Doggy okay. advent calendars. We can give Casey the 14th tomorrow. Who isn't Toby? Who's I mean, Toby? <laughs> Toby is Bubba's- That's my legal name. That's his legal name, but shortly after we named him Toby, uh, I started calling him Bubba's. He, you started calling him Bubba's and, and it, it stuck. stuck. So I call him Toby in formal settings. That's his legal name, but his nickname, his pet name for a pet is Bubba's. Oh, you a Bubba's. Who's a Bubba's? Who's a Bubba's? Speak, get him. Speak. Speak. Uh -oh. That is a cue for me to go change into comfortable clothes. Mm, that is very good. Also, I gotta show you. Look what glass Steven is using. I think they turned out so well. They did turn out well, except now I have to hand wash this glass. All right, my friends, I'm gonna wrap up Vlogmas day 16 right here. Um, and in the meantime, I'll leave it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time. Bye bye